Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to talk about privacy protocols within Cardano. So as we move forward and smart contracts are released, we're going to have companies and institutions building their smart contracting platforms on top of the Cardano ecosystem. And like I said in previous videos, they're going to have to require a certain level of metadata from these customers. So let's say your local government creates a smart contracting voting platform on the Cardano ecosystem. Talking about like your community government, let's say it's like a um, HOA, home association fees, and basically the houses contribute money every month or every quarter to a pool and that pool gets decided where the funds will be allocated. And usually there's a town hall meeting, but those are on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. and not all the members of this community can come out and vote. But, you know, if they had some sort of representation on the blockchain, maybe they could submit their vote or submit their vote through a proxy. Just a quick example. But anyway, there's going to be certain metadata that that community or that institution is going to require from the people that are voting. It can't be completely anonymous. Like, for example, they need to know whether or not that person has a home in the community or whether or not that person is over 18 and can even vote or whether they have certain criteria that allows them to vote because... This metadata is going to be important for the institution to keep dutiful records. You can't have a whole bunch of three-year-olds that have access to this smart contract voting. So, like I said before, this metadata is going to have to be exchanged and stored within the blockchain. But this data is going to have to be encrypted. It's going to have to be secure, privacy, privacy protocols. So if you're putting medical records on the blockchain, you need to make sure it's private enough so the doctor's office can see it in an encrypted form, but it's not accessible to everyone who is, I don't know, mad validating the nodes, validating the transactions within the blockchain. This is very important. Cardano has expressed interest in using certain TEEs or trusted execution environments. So things like Intel SGX and ARM, these are certain hard, this is hardware that's used that allows for security at a level that is not that software can't secure. So for example, there are certain things called enclaves, which it, within like the Intel SGX and ARM that you can store private information and it's only stored within that processing unit. It's not really distributed across, across the net. So these are going to be extremely important partnerships or extremely important, important things that Cardano does in the future to allow certain companies to have a privacy in a in a way that's um, that's beneficial for their company, because let's let's be real. If uh, if a banking company is creating a an um, a DAP on the Cardano ecosystem, they need to make sure that they're getting some metadata, but they're not going to have access to the entire blockchain. And once again, this metadata is not going to be attributed to each particular person. It needs to be partitioned in a way that allows buyers to be or you know, the consumers to have a certain level of anonymity and the actual receivers or the sellers, they need to have a certain level of metadata. So let me know what you think about privacy on the blockchain, these privacy protocols. I'm glad to see that I was able to find a little bit of reading on that. And once again, please like, comment and subscribe. And until the next video, thank you.